Tonight, a moment of silence on Capitol Hill to mark another staggering milestone. 800,000 lives lost. Health officials are warning the highly transmissible Omicron variant, already detected in at least 34 states, is now on track to take over the Delta variant. Pfizer says its study of an antiviral COVID pill shows it's up to 89% effective at preventing hospitalizations and death if taken in the first three days after testing positive. It is a game changer. But at the same time, I want to emphasize that no one should use the existence of the pill as an excuse to avoid vaccination. The WHO saying Omicron is spreading at a rate we haven't seen before, and a new large-scale analysis in South Africa says Pfizer shots provide just 33% protection against Omicron infection, but 70% protection against hospitalization. The parents of the teenage suspect in the Oxford High School shooting back in court today. Probable cause hearing was set for today in Michigan for James and Jennifer Crumbly. In court, prosecutors and defense attorneys asked for more time to go through evidence in the case. The hearing was adjourned until February 8th. The Crumleys are both charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter in the shooting. Prosecutors say they gave their son the gun he used to kill four classmates. A Nevada parole board has granted O.J. Simpson early parole, citing good behavior. The 74-year-old former football player was convicted in 2008 of armed robbery at a Las Vegas casino. He was released on parole in 2017. Former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has been ordered to turn over the proceeds of his recent book. New York's Joint Commission on Public Ethics gave former Governor Cuomo 30 days to relinquish the millions of dollars he was paid to write American Crisis leadership lessons from the COVID-19 pandemic. It will be up to the state attorney general's office to decide where the money should go. The commission previously rescinded its approval for the book, finding Cuomo inappropriately used state resources to help him write it. Cuomo insisted whatever work staff members did was voluntary, and his attorney called the Ethics Commission's actions now unconstitutional and said they were driven by political interests rather than the facts and the law. One of the men exonerated in the killing of Malcolm X is suing New York State for millions. Mohammed Aziz wants $20 million in damages. He also notified the city that he plans to file a lawsuit for $40 million. Aziz says that money will help repay the toll that being, quote, unjustly branded as a convicted murderer for 55 years took on his life. Just last month, Aziz and co-defendant Khalil Islam, who died back in 2009, were exonerated in the murder of Malcolm X. The district attorney's office made the decision after citing the men did not receive a fair trial back in 1966. The new Arctic report card is out, highlighting the alarming effects of climate change. NOAA finding the Arctic is warming more than twice as fast as the rest of the planet. Rain was observed for the first time on the summit of Greenland's ice cap. Arctic sea ice is shrinking and melting at an alarming rate, opening the sea to more shipping, which also means more garbage and debris washing ashore. The Arctic Ocean is also acidifying faster than the global ocean, which could negatively impact wildlife. All these disruptions are the direct results of a climate straining under the heat-trapping burden of greenhouse gas pollution. The time to face this monumental challenge is now. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.